Hey, so for this uh, longer improvisation, I want to um, talk a little bit first about the musical idea. And when we use the, the term idea in relation to music, what we mean is that there is something that is being heard, and that thing is being recognized as something uh, that makes sense or something that expresses something that we understand. So for example, <laughs> We could immediately recognize that as the basic idea of uh, Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. So musicians uh, and artists and I guess everybody really are, are working with ideas. Um, and in music, what we're doing is we are, if we are making something up, if we're improvising or if we're composing, or even if we're playing the, the music of someone else, we are presenting that to people. So we're presenting an idea when, we're, when we play music. Um, and there doesn't have to be anybody in the room with you, but uh, you're still putting your idea into sound. That's the idea. <laughs> um, and the great part, like I said, is that you don't have to worry about the true or falseness of those ideas, right? Because they're musical ideas. They're not statements about reality, right? Um, I don't have to know everything about the universe in order to play music. Uh, I, can, I can just express... Uh, who I am with, of course, all my limitations in that, in that sound at that moment. So um, when I am improvising, and of course, whenever you improvise, um, think of it as, as just putting ideas out there. And don't judge them for whether they're right or wrong. Um, just work with them. Uh, because um, sometimes you will react to the sound that you're hearing in a way that inspires more. Uh, music and, and so forth. So anyway, if you do enjoy these videos, go ahead and um, check the comment section or the uh, in, uh, introduction section at my uh, Venmo listed if you'd like to leave me a tip. But uh, of course, all these videos are, are free for you to enjoy. So enjoy this uh, symphony of ideas here today.